Trust in the EU has fallen to a record low. The European Commission surveyed the bloc's six biggest countries – Poland, the UK, France, Italy, Germany and Spain – where Euroscepticism has soared. 72% of Spaniards say they don't trust the EU, compared to 24% six years ago, the president of the European Commission. Of course we are concerned with the social situation now, and uh, this uh, presents a risk of polarisation. At the same time, we have to be clear and honest. It was not Europe that has created this crisis. This crisis was created either in the financial markets, irresponsible behaviour, or sometimes at national level by unsustainable debt. Czech economist Thomas Sedlicek argues Europeans can only get through the crisis by working together. But that message doesn't appear to be getting through to the 59% of Germans who say they don't trust the EU compared to 36% the last time. If we wouldn't have European Union, we would have to do austerity anyway and countries would still go bankrupt and those bankruptcy would be much more severe and much more harsher because other countries wouldn't probably so readily help them as they readily help, help now. Only because we are together and countries are ready to help each other are we not losing, uh, losing money in, in, in direct terms. Yet unemployed Europeans will find little comfort in those words. The latest available figures indicate there are roughly 26 million people out of work across the EU. Some economists argue tough spending cuts have dampened demand to such an extent the economy is on a dangerous downward spiral. You need not to look only at balancing the budget, but you need to reduce spending that is not necessary for growth and increase spending which is important for the future, for growth and competitiveness. And also on the taxation side, one should reduce taxes that destroy jobs, for example taxes on labour, and increase taxes that are not harmful to growth, such as property taxes. The European Commission says more Europe is the solution, calling for more federalism to tackle the crisis.